Assalamu alaikum viewers. How are you? Hope that you are well. And I am also fine by the Almighty of Allah. Dear viewers, do you know that already I have taken a lot of classes on online. Hope that you will benefit a lot. If you watch this video, of course you will enjoy a lot. I think, okay. Dear viewers, today I want to bring a new class. This class name is Bhar. Okay. Before taking class, do you know that this is me, Muhammad Munarul Islam, assistant teacher in English at Sisarpara Buljan High School, Shnabula Bogura. Dear viewers are my dear students. Do you know that Bhar? Today, topic is Bhar. Okay, now let's go take a look at the word place. Dear viewers, okay, you also was it. The topic name is Bhar. What is called Bhar? I also asked you this question. I think many viewers are my dear students. You also know this type of definition of Bhar. Okay. Bhar means action. Okay. Bhar means action. Okay. There are two kinds of verbs. There are two kinds of verbs. Number one, finite verb. Number two, non finite verb. Okay. There are two kinds of verb. I already we have got it. Okay. Then finite verb also. There are two types of finite verb. Auxiliary and principal. There are two types of verbs of finite. Number one, principal verb. Number two, auxiliary verb. Okay. Now we also look at the board that principal verb is two types. Principal verb is two types. Transitive verb and intransitive verb. Okay. And auxiliary verb, do you know that there are three types of auxiliary? Number one, primary auxiliary. Number one, primary auxiliary. Model auxiliary part and semi model auxiliary part. Dear viewers and my dear students, <coughs> dear viewers, verb, do you know that verb is very important for making sentence? Without verb, we cannot make a sentence. That is why verb is called the soul of English language. Okay, we should be remembering it always. Okay. <coughs> yeah, do you know that I'm also again repeat this uh, topic. Verb means action. There are two types of verbs, finite verb and non-finite verb. And finite verb, today I am also discuss about the topic of finite verb. Okay. There are two types of finite verb, principal verb and auxiliary verb. Okay. Uh, and now, we also see in the board that principal verb. Okay. There are two types of principal verbs. Number one, transitive verb and intransitive verb. Uh, then auxiliary verb. There are three types of auxiliary verb. Okay. Okay. If any teacher will ask you a question, what is called auxiliary verb and how many kinds of auxiliary verb? On the time you will give the answer, there are three kinds of auxiliary verb. Number one, principal primary auxiliary. Number two, model auxiliary. And number three, semi-modal verb. That's mean the auxiliary verb. Okay. Today, I have also discussed about the topic of uh, finite verb. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Your viewers, always keep watching this video. This video will provide you uh, part 1, part 2, part 3 or part 4. Of course, if you enjoy uh, watch it, uh, you will learn a lot, I think. Okay. <coughs> okay, dear viewers. Now, I am giving you the example of finite verb. Okay. The man goes to school here. I also give you the example. The man goes to school here. We also find that the verb is goes okay goes without the verb of go we cannot find out the full meaning of this sentences okay sentence the man goes to school so go is verb this verb will complete these sentences this sentence and that is why we uh, we are called it finite verb so go is finite verb do you know that finite verb is two types, principal and auxiliary? If any man or if any teacher can ask you this question, 
is it principal verb or or auxiliary verb? Of course, on the time you will give the answer. Go is principal verb. Okay, dear viewers, I think that you have got it. Okay, it is called final verb and another topic. It is principal verb. Okay, and the another example. He he lives in a village to get relaxed. To get enjoy. Okay. Yes, girls. He lives. He lives in a village uh, to get enjoyment. Okay. Here we also find uh, out uh, two types of verbs. Number one verbs and uh, lives. Okay. Number two get. Okay. If I can ask you this question that uh, which is finite verb and which is non finite verb. Okay. Of course you will find that leap is finite verb. Okay. And to get non finite verb. Do you, dear viewers. Although I cannot discuss about the topic of non finite verb, and today I am giving you the topics and discuss about uh, finite verb. Okay, here leaves also complete this sentence. That is why leave is finite verb. Okay, another way, if any person can ask you, uh, why leave is principal, principal verb, of course, it is a principal verb also. Okay, I think we have got it. Uh, now I can try to, I cannot try to uh, prolong my. A topic okay dear viewers uh, thank you for being with us and always cooperated me i also go ahead and pray for me keep well okay allah hafiz